Can I call? Like, am I allowed to cuss? Yeah. You're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want. We can do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, right? I don't care. All right. Yeah. Well, I am Mike Mo, and I'm here on Nigel Alexander's YouTube channel, and you guys sent in a whole bunch of questions to ask me. And here I am. I'm sitting here. I'm going to answer them right now for you guys. So let's do this. Let's see what you have to say. Good. I like this starting off hot on this one. His name's at FF underscore F. <laughs> it's a good creative one. Do you think you'll ever put out a better part than Fully Flared? I like that this is the first question. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how to skate again, to be honest. So I'm not like thinking about trying to get that to that point. I'm just trying to figure out how to like ollie up a curb at this point. <laughs> so, but if I could get back to that health that I was at when I was 16 years old, then I will do everything I can to put one out just like that. This is at Patty J12. Do you think you will ever leave girl? No. Right, this one's from at Cameron Graham. What is the most stairs you've ollied down? The most stairs I've ollied is 11, but I've switched flip 13. <laughs> <laughs> at Caleb Myrick 26, has Chuck the Sailor ever fucked a Barbie? We should probably just ask him. Have I ever fucked a Barbie? Hmm. Yeah, obviously, dude. Who do you think I am? I'm Chuck the motherfucking Taylor. I bang bitches on my boat left and right. I own probably two boats. I own two boats. And all of them are loaded with chicks. And my name is Dan Brazilian. <laughs> I'm his fucking dad, motherfucker. How do you think he got rich? He inherited money from me. I died and then came back to life. That's what I do. Just talk to Sailor, bitch. This one's from at Tostagram. It's hard to say. Want a ball, bro? Let's go one on one. I got this motherfucker. Who is this guy? He has a cat emoji. Or, or a cat. Look at this. Oh, he's 14 years old. <laughs> I got you, dude. Come on. This one's from at Max Nixon. What trick took you longest in any video to land? I honestly think it was in my what, what what part was that it was the real street part that came out last year yeah it was this line that was i do like a fakey big spin heel down the first bank then a impossible lay flip on the second bank and then all you have to heel the stairs at the end yeah that took me it's gonna sound ridiculous and i don't even know why i'm a fucking pro skateboarder because it took so long <laughs> it took me 18 days wow. to go back and do it Dang. I don't know why it took that long. Yeah. Because I have all those tricks like pretty consistently. I just don't know why. All three of them I just together. couldn't, they wouldn't line up. Yeah. I could do them individually, but I couldn't put them together. I don't know what it was. It was so weird. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like embarrassed to say that it was that many times, <laughs> but it, it, you know, it was that many times. It took that long. I'd even do a impossible light flip in that line. What'd you do? Oh wait. I'm pretty sure you did. I've done two lines at that school. I've done like multiple lines there, but like the two that I'm thinking about, they both took a while, but the one that took longer, I can't even remember what the line was. It was, was it Rick Flip Impossible? No, that wasn't, that wasn't pretty sweet. Not real street. <laughs> it, oh, the one in real street, I did a Nolly Cab Flip on the second one. Oh. Oh, I did a Front Foot Impossible on the first one, Nolly Cab Flip, and then Nolly Half Cab Heel the Stairs. Oh, okay, okay. That's that one took me 18 days. All right. Yeah. Glad we clarified that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was naming the wrong line. Like kids would have been like, he didn't even he did he he named the wrong tricks. At skater, Dubay. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, let's ask Chuck the Shatter. How much dick would a slut suck suck if a slut could suck dick suck wood? <laughs> yeah. It's at ShaneMo74. How's your injury going? And about how much longer until you're back on your board? Injury is getting better. It's just taken a long time because I have like a foot problem. I hurt my knee and my foot at the same time, so I've kind of been dealing with both issues. And my knee's starting to feel really good, but my ankle still has some time left. But I'm thinking like maybe towards the end of this year, I'll probably be skating again. 
Like, I can skate a little bit right now, but it's just better if I don't. So I'm just waiting until I'm like 100% to start going back and do it again. This is from at Jordan Featherstone. What's your favorite girl skateboard graphic? The way he worded that was favorite girl skateboard graphic is it could be any of them. Yeah. But if you're talking about mine, <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with my pizza pancake board. My very first board. You should actually film it in there. It's yeah. on the wall. But uh, yeah, that's my favorite one because it's my first one. This one's from at Munchell 360 SB. How many times have you seen Sean Malto get pissed? And it, it's it's funny because he is one of the dudes that he just won't get mad at anything ever. And uh, lately he's kind of been getting kind of a temper lately. Not a temper, but like every, you know, every few months he'll have like a little breakdown like everybody else does in life. But he is starting to become like a normal human. Yeah. But the time that I always think about is he was trying to 360 flip into this ditch and it was with me and Mikey. And Mikey... Or sorry, and Malto never gets mad about anything. And he could not 360 flip into this damn ditch. And he started throwing his board, freaking out, snapped his board and shit. And went to like this big grass field and like laid down. And you could hear him yelling from like, like so far away. And, we, and me and Mikey were literally like high-fiving each other. Like, he's human! Thank God! <laughs> like, hell yeah, he's mad! Finally, you know? <laughs> and then when he got back, we're like, see, that's what it feels like. For us, like, every day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what a normal person goes through, Sean. Every day. Yeah. This one's from at Trey Primitive. What was your first deck that you owned? My first deck that I owned was, it was like a World Industries board. It was a Flame Boy and Wet Willy. And they were, like, battling. And they were both blowing up, like, a, the world. And it was like, he had a heat gun or whatever like a fire gun he had an ice gun and uh it was a slick top board i remember yeah. that graphic yeah slick top <laughs> world industries first board this is from ben haskins do you think ben affleck pulled off being batman also your take on batman versus superman me and nigel were just talking about this right before this question and i came to the conclusion that i don't really like the fucking movie Nigel is a super comic book dude, and he knows all the details, and so he likes it. But I think Ben Affleck was actually a good Batman. Yeah, me too. But like we were just talking about, his actual character—it's not his fault that they wrote that movie, yeah. right? Like, yeah. so I don't think they like made a good point across of like why they were even fighting in the first place. Yeah, they didn't. Right? Yeah, they didn't at all. So, but I think he was a good Batman, and I think Henry Cavill, or whatever his name is, I think he, like, he is Superman. Yeah, Like, is. you can't find a better Superman than that. Like, no. he's straight up Superman. Yeah, straight up. But, I didn't really like it. I walked out, of the, I just couldn't wait for the movie to end. Like, two and a half hours, I was just like, I was looking at my phone, I'm like, okay, I got here at nine. Can't wait till it's 11.30. <laughs> like, it was one of those. Yeah. It was unfortunate. Maybe the next one will be better. Hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. This one's from Skater Arsel. When did you go pro for girl skateboards? Summer 2008. So now we're approaching what? A full eight years? Yeah, we're right on the edge of eight years. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, when did you start skating? This is from Vincent Chiano. I started skating in 1998. And I was eight years old. Oh, then I went pro in 2008, right after. 10 years, dude. 10 years, exactly 10 years later, I went pro. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty rad. Yeah, I, didn't even, I never even thought of that till right now. That's sick. Yeah. Cool. Good question, man. This is from 69 Reasons to Love Me. Do you see yourself filming another video part when you're healed? Yes. <laughs> All right, this is from Andy Garcia. And she or he, it looks like it, it might be a she because it's spelled it with an I, right? Yeah. Andy Garcia, tell Dickie he's a fat fuck. <laughs> fat fuck. He works at Zoomies in Santa Barbara, so if any of you guys are watching this and you live out there, you should go in there and call him a fat fuck for me and Andy. It'd be pretty sick. <laughs> this is from Zach Clapp. Who was your first sponsor? It was Surfing West. 
Surfing West? Surfing West Porsche. Shop. Surfing West. Then they got me on Bones Wheels. Oh. Yeah. Tight. And Circa Flow. Circa Flow? Yeah. No way. And then, but it was Rep Flow. Yeah. And then I got on Lakai Real Flow, like Team Manager Flow. Yeah. And then Lakai, they got me on Girl. Yeah. And then I had to quit Bones because I wrote for all the girl companies and that's when Diamond was through girl, including Fillmore Wheels. Yeah. So I wrote for Fillmore instead of Bones. So I had Girl, Lakai, Maddox, Diamond, Girl. Yeah. Had all girl companies. Yeah. yeah. And Royal. I remember that. Yeah, all girl companies. Damn. Yeah. So no, I'll never quit girl to the question way way in the beginning. Way in the beginning. <laughs> no. <laughs> never. This is from Dylan Lagrange. Um would you rather get in a fight with David Loy or Mikey Taylor? I'd much rather go for David Loy. Mikey Taylor is like a horse, man. He, have you seen how strong he is? No. He, that dude is strong, especially he surfs all the time. Dude, I would have chose, I would have chose Mikey Taylor. But David Loy, I've heard stories about beating the hell out of people now. No, he doesn't beat people up. <laughs> My, Mikey's way stronger. Yeah. Mikey's way strong. He surfs. He's got dad strength. He's like he's up. <laughs> he's up doing stuff every day, and he skates a lot and all that stuff. And David skates a lot too. But David is um, David's a pile of shit, right? <laughs> like he's like you know he parties and does all that stuff. It's like I trust the dude that like eats right, or I'd rather get in a fight with the dude that that parties and like sits on the couch for a day. Yeah. Compared to the dude that's surfing at six a.m. Yeah. And, being a dad full time and also skating on top of that. Yeah, pushing himself constantly. Pushing, yeah, pushing himself constantly. So, David Loy for sure. But they're both David's strong too. Yeah. But Mikey's Mikey would, if it was a Mikey and David in a fight together, and I was just betting on it, I'd bet for Mikey. Eddie, De La Rosa. Ooh. Marvel or DC? Marvel or DC? Damn. I mean, I think DC has the best villains. That's what I think. Yeah. But Marvel is kind of fucking killing shit right now. They really are. They were just all over the board. But like when you get into DC and DC has like, like say the Batman universe, like that, they have the best villains ever. Yeah, for you sure. You know, you can't the find best. better villains than that. No. But, um. I personally couldn't pick, to tell you the truth. Yeah. I, I mean. I both a lot. I, I'm gonna, if I had to pick, I'd probably go Marvel. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, all the Marvel movies and shit are fucking... They're all so great, man. They're so good. DC has the best animated movies, though. Do they? Hands down. Marvel shit sucks. Marvel. This one's from George... Jonas? Did your parents support your skateboarding when you were young? Uh, they did, but they would make me wear a helmet until I was, like, 12 years old. So I'd, like, skate around the block and, like, have my helmet on, throw it in the bushes, and then, like, they wouldn't see me. Then I'd come home and put the helmet back on going back in the house but my dad always wanted me and my brother to be like rock stars he always wanted us to play guitar or be in a band dude that's my dad too yeah and uh what, what was um but my dad definitely did not like skateboarding at first like the first couple years he did not like it at all and it's funny because now he works for glassy <laughs> 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 All right, KG Skateboarding said, you still throwing stones at cars and pumpkins off the bridge? I never threw stones at cars. Like everybody, I, I would always get tons of comments like from people after I would say that on like Crail Tap and stuff. I'd be like, I'm throwing stuff at cars. Everyone always said that like I'm a dick for throwing rocks at cars, which I would agree with if that was the truth, but it's never been the truth. The truth is that they were dirt clods with no rocks in it, just mud, and they were lifted trucks. That's it. Or limos. We would do like, you know, like winter formal night or like prom night, we'd bomb the limos. That's so tight. But, yeah, lifted trucks, they deserved it. I agree. Yeah, and especially back in that time, it was like a skate versus, like in high school and stuff, it was like skate versus uh, jock. jock war, right? Yeah. Like that's when you just both didn't get along with each other, so. They deserved it. They would have Derb written on the back of their truck. <laughs> you know, Derb. It's Derb that shit. That was their term, Derb. 
You tell me they didn't deserve dirt clods. Okay. I'm the one that's wrong. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. The last, the very, very, very last question, or maybe even the very first question, right, was Batman or Superman. And I'm going to go with Batman. But even though Superman would destroy him. <laughs> right? I mean... If Superman was completely evil and would kill people, he would destroy yeah, him. Yeah, Superman would dominate him if he was evil. But Superman's yeah. a good guy. Yeah. I get that. He's a nice guy. But yeah, I'm going to go with Batman because Batman's cool and they have cooler villains. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to the very last question and it was... Actually, I'm going to... Like, here's what we're going to do. Like, these were the very first questions asked right here. So they get like a little mini shout out right here. But yeah, those I went through them all. I saw everybody's questions, and they were all they were all good questions. It was just they were all very similar. So I answered them the best I could, and I, I read them all. Thank you guys for sending in some questions and and giving me attention because I'm just sad and old and lonely now. And and thank you guys, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But Nigel, thanks for having me, man. For sure, G.